This is a ground source heat pump. They work by drawing warmth, indirect solar energy that's stored within the ground. They're similar in size to an upright fridge freezer and the heat pump, domestic hot water cylinder and the buffer tank are all installed inside the property, usually within a dedicated plant room. The collectors that extract the solar energy from the ground are outside, which would either be ground loops, where you bury the collector pipework around 1.2 metres below the ground and cover a large area, or boreholes, where you drop collectors down a vertically drilled hole. So let's talk about the pros and the cons of a ground source heat pump. Pros, they're very efficient, as much to 400%. So for every kilowatt of electrical energy that it uses, you can expect it to output around four kilowatt hours of heat energy. That's because the ground provides a really stable temperature from which to draw all year round. There's no need to worry about aesthetics. The ground source heat pump is hidden away with inside the property in a plant room. They're almost silent. If you were to sit next to a ground source heat pump, you'd struggle to know that it's running. They're really that quiet. Cons. They do need a lot of space to install the ground loops. We would advise around three times the total footprint of the property that you're heating. So if you've got a 200 square meter house, you could need up to 600 square meters of ground for the ground collectors. This is land that you use solely for the ground loop collectors. You can't build on it afterwards, you can't put down a driveway, as this will affect the efficiency of the heat pump. You also need a dedicated plant room space inside the property for the heat pump, for the hot water cylinder, and for the buffer tank. So a ground source heat pump tends to be suited best to larger properties and is usually factored into a new build project, more so than a renovation. Cost is probably the biggest downside of a ground source heat pump. They can be double that of installing an air source because of the extra materials and the groundwork required to install the ground collectors. And if you do choose to go down the borehole route rather than ground loops, the cost can really start to stack up. And just like with an air source, we would never recommend installing a heat pump in an older or poorly insulated property. It wouldn't produce the temperatures that you need and would cost far too much to run. How much does a ground source heat pump cost? The total cost for a ground source heat pump when going for ground loops, including the installation, could be in the region of 15 to 20 thousand pounds. This is a real ballpark figure as every project is different. If you opted for boreholes, then you also need to factor in a cost of a specialist drilling contractor, which can add thousands or maybe even tens of thousands of pounds. And don't forget, there is always potential for government grants like the Boiler Upgrade Scheme that can help bring down your overall costs by about £6,000.